Gladys Jeanette with Spanish Fork News. Today we're talking about safety. The kids are out of school, ready for the summer. Some of the kids are choosing to stay inside, but whatever you do, remember the safety is first on your list. There are things that parents can do to protect their children. Joining us today is Don Thomas, who is an expert in emergency preparedness and also the captain of the ambulance department. Don, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. We appreciate you. Um, can you please tell us what are some of the things that as parents we can do in our homes and also outside uh, to keep our kids safe? Maybe one of the first things would be uh, watching our children since we've got all this flooding that has been going on. And later on as we go to the pool or up to the reservoir, there's always an enticement for the kids to want to get in the water, to get as close as they can. And sometimes the little ones, uh, being on those slopes that they'll find on the river banks, slip and fall in. The water has been moving fast and been very cold, and there's been several drownings in the state already this year. We just need to take it upon ourselves to watch them and keep an eye on them. If we're in the area by the reservoir or down at our pool, if the kids don't know how to swim, we need to be in the water with them or have a floating device that's upon, on them uh, to help them stay above water. So take it upon ourselves to watch our kids because it only takes a second and a tragedy happens. And we've had that happen uh, up our canyon this year and uh, we've had some near drownings at the pool, or I mean at the uh, reservoir. That's right. And we've also heard about some accidents at home. Kids falling off windows. We've had at least uh, six cases that have been reported of uh, kids uh, falling off the windows because they're just climbing up the windows or they're just playing right next to it. What can you tell us about that, Don? We have a lot of homes built with a window above the garage. And uh, of course, we want to get ventilation at this time of the year. We raise the window, leaving just a screen. And the screen's not going to keep the kids in. They, they'll run against it. Sometimes they'll sit on that window sill and lean back, and it gives way. If you have a home like this, now's the time to put in a railing that can keep anyone from falling to the ground. There are many types of uh, security devices you can put there, but anything to keep the kids from falling down. Uh, that 15, 18 foot drop onto concrete has uh, claimed the lives of many children, and one is too many. So we need to take it upon ourselves to uh, make sure those windows are either secure so they can't be opened or prevent them from falling by putting a screening type device that is metal uh, like the railing or other type of decorative devices that's there to keep the kids from falling to the ground. So you heard it from the expert. Remember to wear your flotation devices when close to the water and also protect your windows so that your kids won't fall off. Remember the screen door will not keep your kids from falling. They are meant to keep the bugs out, but not to keep your kids from falling off the windows. Thank you, reporting from Spanish Fork, I'm Gladys Jeanette.